the Nephilim are a hybrid of angels and humans. And um, the idea that I, that, um, that, you know, what, what led me to, this, to create these creatures is a passage in Genesis 6 about um, the, a group of angels called Watchers who were sent to Earth and they fell in love with human women. And the offspring of this love affair was a monstrous race called Nephilim. That Nephilim literally means giants. And so uh, I have posited in the novel that these creatures exist and they've always existed and that they're still living in our modern society, in, in generally in grand families, in the, the prestigious and well-connected families of the world. The Nephilim are menacing. They're not the, the sort of glowing rosy angels that you see on Christmas cards. But uh, I think that they're very um, seductive in some ways because they're gorgeous physically, but they're evil. So there's this wonderful um, mixture of, of a sort of, you know, the, what, it brings up the question, you know, what's, what does beauty mean? And what's beauty if it's combined with evil? And how, does, um, how do these forces play out in the world? And so, um, yeah, I, th I think that, that it does subvert the traditional <laughs> image of, of the angel. But I think that it's, it's a surprising and um, actually refreshing subversion. The angelologists have traditionally been monitoring the, this group of, of um, angel-human hybrids. And uh, of course, they've been studying them um, keeping files on them uh, and sort of working, excuse me, together to, to, um, to contain them. Um, but it comes to pass that they also have to protect, um, uh, they have to protect the world from them in, in, in essence. And so it, it comes, you know, there, there's a point in the book where um, an object that the Nephilim have been seeking and searching for for hundreds of years is, is found and it's a race to see who gets this object first.